William Shakespeare is widely considered to be the greatest writer who ever lived. And even though he wrote his plays over 400 years ago, they are still popular to this day. In fact, pretty much everyone who has been to school has read a Shakespeare play at some point. But despite being the most famous writer ever, we really don't know that much about him. All that we know comes from his famous works and court and church documents. Here's what we do know. He was born in 1564 on April 23rd in Stratford-upon-Avon to John Shakespeare and Mary Arden. He was the third child of eight. At the age of 18, he married Anne Hathaway, who was 26. They had three children, a daughter, Susanna, who was born six months after they were married, and two twins, Hamnet and Judith. Unfortunately, Hamnet died at the age of 11, but no one is sure why. For the next seven years after the twins were born, we don't really know what Shakespeare was doing. There's a rumor that he may have had to flee the country because he was caught poaching on another man's land. Some people think he might have been a schoolmaster for a time, but no one really knows. What we do know is that Shakespeare arrived in London in 1588 and immediately became known as an actor and a playwright. He was apparently so great that he gained some notice from critics. A London theater critic called him an upstart crow, which was a fancy way of saying he was trying to be a better actor than he was. Despite this rude comment, Shakespeare became well known as an actor and writer as part of Lord Chamberlain's Men, an acting troupe that was popular in London. And when people saw his name on a play, they were like, hey, this play is by Shakespeare. It's going to be awesome. He also formed a partnership and built the famous Globe Theatre, where a lot of his plays were performed. This made him a very wealthy man. Over the course of two decades, from about 1590 to 1613, Shakespeare wrote a total of 37 plays. He wrote tragedies like Romeo and Juliet, Hamlet, and Macbeth, comedies like As You Like It and A Midsummer Night's Dream, and histories like Henry V and Richard III. He also wrote 154 sonnets. Along the way, he invented over 1,700 words, including words like elbow, critic, gossip, and luggage. He also coined several phrases we still use today. Shakespeare probably died on his 52nd birthday, although some scholars believe this is wrong. We know for a fact, though, that he was buried at Trinity Church on April 25, 1616. Today, Shakespeare's legacy continues. His plays are constantly performed on stage in a variety of settings and with really cool updates to make them more modern. Movies of Shakespeare's works are also common. The magic of Shakespeare's great plays continues to live on in the hearts and imaginations of people of all ages. As Shakespeare himself said, all's well that ends well. Thank you.